Okay, for peace of mind, just checking everything's a nice, light sliding fit. That everything's been properly machined by the manufacturer, by the engineering workshop. Just worth a double check, just to see that there's gonna be no piston slapping. So here's the rings put on. Uh, you may as well just consult the manual about having the gaps at certain sides on the piston. Um, read the manufacturer's instructions. And uh, there's plenty of videos online from the manufacturer showing you how to put those on, so I won't bore you with the details. So when you line up your ring gaps, make sure when you put your ring compressor on that the little fold overlap doesn't line up with any of your ring gaps because that could pop a ring out and then as you hit it down it'll catch on the block. So just make sure you know where your ring gaps are positioned and basically make sure the fold of your ring compressor uh, doesn't get in line with one of your ring gaps. Also leave a little bit at the bottom for the skirt um, and uh, Cover your rod bolts with some hose so that it doesn't damage the bearing surface on your crank. And then make sure you turn your crank around so that it's this, the uh, again, bearing is as far down as it can go. In this case, just put it in lightly. I like to go around with a small hammer and just make sure the Everything's nice and level with the surface of the head. Now the idea is not to strike the piston like you're going to hit something. You want to hit and push all in the same motion. So it's a nice through hit, not a, not a surface hit. Just start to work it down. When it gets close to where the rings are, just a nice firm, and then it's in. Okay, as you can see on the flip side, this one's slightly twisted. It's just a matter of getting in there and making sure it's nice and straight. Nice and straight in that dimension. Note that you cannot rotate the crankshaft around to meet the rod, it's too far out to the side. And make sure you've got your engine paste on, and then Push the piston up from the underside, making sure that it's in line with the crank. So we just pay attention to where the tongue of the bearing is. There should be a mark on there. This one's got a punch and a scribe number one in there. It's the number one cylinder. Bearing tangs together. Or slide fit. That's on finger tight. Get ready for torque and repeat. So torque on these ones is 20 Newton meters plus a quarter turn. I can't comment on why it's not just a final torque, but there you go. Okay, that's the torque. Quarter turn. It's about there. Quarter turn through 90 degrees. Once again, just a bit of a witness mark as a sanity check. 